Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are going to see uh, actually a request that we had for, um, from one of you guys so one of you asked for a silent magician deck if I'm not wrong he also uh, specified that he wanted a pure one but uh, maybe there will have been a chance if I had the, the witch from the latest box but I actually, as you know, as you already know, I did invest in it, so... Um, but I decided, you know, to uh, accomplish his request and made, anyway, uh, one of the best deck to use the Silent Magician deck, uh, the Silent Magician archetype, actually, and it's not my uh, Magician Girl deck. But I decided to use a deck that actually let me climb from um, Platinum Rank 5 uh, all the way to Legend Rank 1. Uh, it's a pretty nice one with, actually as you may have seen from the thumbnail, uh, a skill that some of you may have forgotten that is perfectly combined with Cosmic Cyclone, one of the, uh, you know, uh, the skills that uh, has already been touched but uh, it still fits perfect with Cosmic Cyclone because it only requires a thousand life points to lose and the skill I'm talking about is Light and Dark. So before jumping right into it guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into the deck list. So I'm, of course I'm here with uh, Lumis and Umbra, so... Uh, that's uh, the skill that they use, one of the most used of Lumis and Umbra, I'm talking about Light and Dark. Now, for all who do not know what it does, it's pretty easy. Basically, you can use this once per turn and twice per duel, and every time you lose a thousand life points, you can choose one card, um, uh, you can return one card from your hand to the, to, to the deck, it has, it has to be or light or dark, and... Um, if you return a light monster, you can take from your deck a dark monster and vice versa. If you return a dark monster, you can take a light monster from your deck, but he has to be the same level, the same type. So this fits perfectly with the combination of uh, uh, Grave Keepers that are Spellcaster Dark with Silent Magician, that is spellcaster light so really easy so of course we have a couple of silent magician uh, a couple is enough and then we have a one level eight as the target for the second silent magician effect you know this guy's really good right here uh, not only because when it's destroyed it gets to, you he lets you special summon a silent magician level eight from the deck or the hand actually but also because he can negate the spell once per turn and he is boosting up himself um, by the number uh, of the of cards you have in your hand so he gains 500 for each card in your hand pretty good then we have the basic uh, engine, the basic, you know, uh, cork of the deck that is main, uh, that is, that consists of the Gravekeeper's archetype. We have a couple of Spy, uh, Big Booty, 2000 defense, and on Flip Summon, um, it will special summon a Gravekeeper from your deck. Then we have the Revival, Gravekeeper's Headman on Summon, uh, so either special or normal it will special summon a level 4 break keeper from the deck so the and you can special summon him in the face to either in face down defense position or in face up attack position so um, a level 4 target can be the the spy or the actually the core the really core of the deck spiritualist the fusion summoner without poly yes because whenever we have necrovaldi in the field this little girl can special summon, can fusion summon a monster from your extra deck by using herself and the monster from your end or field as the fusion material, so pretty good. And of course we play three of this and the target will be of course our supernaturalist that is a, a plus one in the end phase, so this means that after, after you, that you activate its effect in main phase, uh, it lets you add whatever card you want, whatever uh, Gravekeeper card you want from your deck to your hand in the end phase. And he gains attack equal to the number of the level, com or the combined level of the monster that you use for his fusion summon. Uh, so it becomes pretty, uh, pretty good. And 
Then we have Triple Necrovalli, the really a core card for the deck, and then a couple of Necrovalli thrown. Uh, that's basically lets you search for any Gravekeeper monster that you need. And then we have um, uh, Triple Cyclon that is good for two reasons in this deck. Not only because, of course, you can get rid of one of your opponent's back row, but also because uh, with his cast you get to uh, accomplish the requirement for the skill to trigger the skill so basically you can return either a great keeper spy or a great keeper spiritualist to get one silent magician that's really really good right here so we have a searcher for our silent magician and then last but not least of course you can it's on your choice, I decided to use a Magicalized Fusion because thanks to the effect of um, our Necro Valley Throne and our Spiritualist, we can thin the deck really, really quickly. So, you know, get into our Magicalized Fusion, it's not that hard. But of course, if you do not want to play Magicalized Fusion, you can of course use uh, a semi-limited card uh, such as Treasures, for example, or Enemy Controller whatever you like, but I like to use Magicalized Fusion because I can go eventually in my Quinted Magician, you know, really good. Uh, it cannot be destroyed by card effect, but most of all, if you use five different spell spellcasters, you can destroy all the cards your opponent controls, and we have actually five uh, uh, different spell spellcasters, and they are Silent Magician, Silent Magician level 8, The Spy, Headman and Spiritualist. They are exactly five. So we are done. We're perfect. So this deck is pretty consistent and of course um, it's more based on uh, get, um, getting out your Necro Valley so that you can stop your opponent's plays really, really easily. And also guys, uh, actually this deck beca uh, has become stronger and stronger thanks to the latest box because a lot of people will play uh, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon but when you have Necro Valley and your Gravekeeper uh, Supernaturalist on the field they both cannot be destroyed by card effects, keep in mind that. And actually the only way to get rid of the Necro Valley is Cosmic Cyclone or something that lets you return the card to your hand. But Mystical Space Typhoon will not destroy your Necro Valley as long as you have a Supernaturalist on the field. Keep in mind that. So guys, uh, that was all for the explanation. We can jump right to the replays. Here we go against Sarakaiban and his ultimate dragons. So we have a Necro Valley and a Cosmic Cyclone. So this means we have both a Searcher and a back row um, destroyer, actually, Banisher. So there you go. We actually draw a, a level 4, so we were chilling, uh, and boom, Silent Magician on first turn. I decided to keep my Necro Valdi actually for now, because uh, I want to have at least 1500 as, uh, as attack. So now we're just, he's just stalling with this Maiden, and I'm actually waiting to have the best combo that I can have. And there you go, Spy, summoning from the deck a Spiritualist, then Necro Valley to use the Spiritualist effect to go into a Super Naturalist. So, as you can see, really big boy right here, Maiden's effect to summon a Blue Eyes from the deck. Not a problem as long as we have our big boy right here. And there you go, in the end phase, the effect to add a Necro Valley Throne. Keep in mind that to get the search in the end phase, you need to activate the effect in the main phase. Don't forget that. So, Ultimate Dragons is here, and um, he has also... There you go, he has actually draw his Blue Eyes at the White Dragon, not a problem, but he also has Burst Stream of Destruction, but my Silent Magician has a Negate. You can negate a spell um, once per turn, so pretty good. And then he uses the effect of Blue Eyes Alternative to pop my Supernaturalist. But Supernaturalist effect says that when, he, when Necrovalli is on the field, both him and the Necrovalli card cannot be destroyed by card effects. There you go. So the effect didn't have a resolution, another Silent Magician, and that's how you finish him off to the couple of Silent Magician. Pretty, pretty controlled deck actually. Second Yuma boys against Ishizu. Let's see what she got. I have a really good turn one with Necro Valley and Spiritualist, so this means turn one, Supernaturalist, the Activate the effect in main phase so that in the end phase I get the search. Of course, you're always likely to add your Necro Valley Throne so that you can add whenever you want, whatever you want. 
so triple sets and the schoolmeister supernatural is a fact as you can see um uh, with this uh, we had uh, First Supernatural effect so that uh, you do not forget it to uh, before the end of the main phase. Keep in mind that when you have a Supernaturalist, you always want to do that first so you don't forget it. And then Throne to add a, um, uh, an Edman. Edman on someone will search for another Spiritualist, but he decided the Cosmic Cyclone in my Necro Valley. That's fine. We can add this back in in the end phase. Karma cut on our supernatural is still fine. I decided to go in with the silent magician because when it's destroyed, you can special summon the big boy from the deck, level eight. And level eight actually let me have lethal. Keep in mind you can voluntarily destroy your own silent magician if you wanna bring out your silent magician level eight. Here we go, another set of cards, but the normal one right here. Just a set card. Let's see. Perfect peak, Cosmic Cyclone, and we have the Search. So, uh, returning to the deck, a spy to add a Silent Magician, and then boom, there you go. Silent Magician first turn, uh, going swinging in for the first few thousand life points of damage. A couple of sets, and this turn, let's see, another Cosmic Cyclone. <laughs> Really like it right here. He has unluckily a comma cut to get rid of my silent magician. Necro Valley Throne says that I'm gonna keep pick my headman. I have a spiritualist in uh, in my grave, and that's enough to go for lethal. There you go. That's how you do it. So keep in mind, guys, Edman is perfect because he perfectly fits with my Silent Magician because Silent Magician helps me have those Gravekeepers in the grave to then take back with the effect of Edman. Last but not least, my boys, this one was the Rank Up Duel, one of the Rank Up Duel. There you go. Uh, pretty good hand. We only missed Necro Valley. So it is actually Shiranui deck. But for that set card, we have a Cosmic Cyclone. There you go. This means let's go search and look for Silent Magician. So, Spiritualist, Silent Magician is here and we can kick in. Now, guys, right here in Necro Valley will be perfect because you know that Shiranui relies a lot on the gray on affecting the grave. So you definitely want to have Necro Valley when you're playing against your Shiranui. Let's see if we can pick it. So he thinks he won actually, but he forgot that Silent Magician has the backup effect to special summon the level 8 from the deck. So I'm chilling and look out of what I draw. Exactly Necro Valley. So now I can get rid of the Shogun Saga without worrying about this effect of letting um, the Spectre's Vault coming back to the grave. Because now he cannot use the effect thanks to Necro Valley. I'm chilling. The only. Th Bad thing right now is that I have a dead card in my hand that is the Cosmic Cyclone because I have I have not enough uh, life points activated. So he's winning in with the Utopia, but Spy has a really big defense thanks also to Necro Valley and let me also special summon a Spiritist from the deck. Pretty good situation for me. Supernaturalist is coming to the field. Floodgate really hit me hard, but not a problem. We have. Still our Silent Magician, level 8, uh, just another set card, we're still chilling because we are, we are pretty in control of the deck, um, of the duel, sorry. So there you go, another Spiritualist, Karma Cut, to get rid of the Spiritualist, it's fine. So this is the last turn that he can negate an attack, so let's see what he got, he got nothing actually, just a set card. So, we are done. Another good pick, Necro Valley Throne, to look for another spy, Light and Dark. To get a Silent Magician back, Special Summon, there you go. He has a Ballista Squad, now he has lost anyway. Uh, actually no, because he, he picked the, the, the right one, but we have Headsman, so we have more <laughs> than what we need. Fusion Summon for the, the Supernaturalist. And there you go, that's how you do it. Really um, an easy rank. Now guys, this deck can definitely hit card because Necro Valley is just so good uh, in this meta. So you can definitely use this deck to rank to Kog. Maybe it will be a little bit hard in the first two weeks, but in the second two weeks, in the other two weeks of the month, in the other half of the month, 
you're gonna definitely uh, reach cock with this deck in my opinion so if you have all the cards and you like selling magician definitely check him out so guys that was all I uh, of course wanna uh, I hope that all the explanation are clear and feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one Thank you.